Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. You're working at an amusement park and the food vendors tell you what percentage of the visitors eat each of their foods. 65% eat a donut, 80% eat a pretzel, 80% eat a slice of pizza, and 90% have ice cream. The geniuses in marketing want to sell a bundle of all of the foods, but they want to know how many people are actually interested in it. So they call upon you, a mathematician, to tell them what's the minimum percentage of visitors that must have eaten all four foods. I thank James for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I'm going to present multiple ways to solve this problem. It actually was very difficult for me to understand at first, but now that I've seen the solution, it seems so easy. So let's get started with one method. Let's imagine there are 20 people who are visitors to the amusement park. Now 65% of 20 is equal to 13 people. 80% of 20 people is equal to 16 people. That's true for pretzels and a pizza slice. Then 90% of 20 is equal to 18 people. So we know the number of people that ate each of the foods, and we know the number of people that didn't eat a particular food. It is theoretically possible that 65% of people ate all four foods, but we don't want the maximum number, we want the minimum number. So the way we can figure this out is we can distribute the number of people who didn't eat a particular food so that they don't overlap. So here we have people who didn't eat particular foods and we wanna spread these out as much as possible. So let's take a look at the people who didn't eat a pretzel. We'll stack these right next to the people who didn't eat a donut. So we'll shift these people over. Now we'll do the same thing for the pizza slice. We'll take these four people and we'll shift it all the way to the left of the people who didn't have a pretzel. Finally, we'll do the same thing for the two people who did not eat ice cream. We'll shift it all the way over to the left of the people who didn't have a slice of pizza. So now we can see there are a total of three people who did eat all four foods and that's out of 20. So the minimum number has to be three out of 20, which is 15% of all people. And we can visually see that in each of the other rows, there's at least one person who didn't eat all four foods. And that's the answer. Now here's another way you could solve it using Venn diagrams. So let's start out with just two foods of donuts and pretzels. So here are the total visitors and here we know that 65% ate a donut. That means 35% did not. Now let's say of the 35% who did not eat a donut, these are people who had a pretzel but did not have a donut. So how many people must have had a pretzel and a donut? We need to get up to 80%. So 80 minus 35 will be 45% that had a donut and a pretzel. So we'll move this to the side, and now we'll do the same sort of calculation for pizza and ice cream. There are 80% of people who had a slice of pizza, that means 20% didn't. We'll take all those people and say that these people had ice cream, but not pizza. So that would mean we need 90 minus 20, which is 70% who had both a slice of pizza and ice cream. So that'll be the number of people who had both of these foods. Now we can imagine donut pretzel as a food and we can imagine pizza sliced ice cream as a food. So 45% of people ate the first food item and 70% of people ate the second food item. So how many people ate both? We'll do the same calculation again. So 45% ate the first item, that means 55% did not eat it. Now we put that into the second circle. 
So we need to have 70 minus 55. So that will be 15% of people. So once again, we figured out at least 15% ate all four foods. Now here's a possible trick which will make the calculation very simple. Imagine there are 100 people. So these percentages just become whole numbers. Now let's add up all of these numbers. 65 plus 80 plus 80 plus 90, which equals 315. So 315 food items were eaten. Now let's suppose each of the 100 people ate three of these items. So three times 100 is equal to 300. So we're still 15 food items short. Now for each of these food items, each person could only have at most four of the foods. So each extra item has to be an extra person. So this will be 15 people who ate all four foods. Then 15 out of 100 is equal to 15%. And once again, we get to the answer. Now we just want to show that this is minimal. So let's do it in a little bit of a formal way. Let's denote these sets as W, X, Y, and Z. For any sets A and B, the size of A and the intersection with B will be equal to 100 minus the size of the complement of A union the complement of B. These are for A and B being sets of 100. Similarly, the size of A union B will be less than or equal to the size of A plus the size of B. So let's apply this to the sets W, X, Y, and Z. The size of the intersection of all of these, that's what we want to figure out, this will be 100 minus the size of the union of their complements. But then we use the inequality, so we have 100 minus the size of each of these complements, so that will be less than or equal to the size of the intersection of all of these sets. We know the size of each of these complements. It'll be 100 minus the size of each set. So we have 100 minus 35 minus 20 minus 20 minus 10, and this is equal to 15. So we know that the people who ate all four foods has to at least be 15, and we have actually shown that we can construct this. So that is the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.